suspended recruitment of new district staff following a directive by the Auditor General who halted the enrollment of new employees until his office is done with ongoing validation exercise of all government staff intended to ascertain whether they exist or not. That's why we usually request them to attach the wage analysis. Then after receiving it, if we find a vote has adequate weight to recruit, we grant clearance to recruit. But in an instance where there is no sufficient weight to recruit, of course, clearance will not be granted. Because if you grant, they want to be able to pay salary to the recruited employees. However, during a regional budget conference for the next financial year 2024-2025, organized by the Ministry of Finance held in Hoima City, local leaders said the suspension has crippled service delivery in their respective districts because they cannot recruit the required critical staff to implement some activities. Can, minister, can we have the same government? Can the public service be busy to support the local government's recruit staff? Other than coming to this meeting to all our motion today, which doesn't work. Give us permission. Now that we have ways, let us recruit staff. Period. Richard Rabuhinga, the President of Uganda Local Government Association, who is also the Kabarole District Chairperson, noted that last year the district sent back 2.5 billion shillings that was meant to recruit staff. Municipalities, town council cities are choking on government. They have collected their money through the system of IRAs. It is at the center, but the reconciliation to have this money returned it takes ages. It affects service delivery in local governments, Repo Chair, because these accounting officers, their hands are tied, they can't do much. Adam Tumsime, the Assistant Commissioner from the Ministry of Public Service, who represented the Permanent Secretary, says the government halted the recruitment of new staff in local governments after the discovery of irregularities on the current payroll. It's true they did request for clearance to recruit. I remember in the first instance they had not attached the wage analysis. I remember when I dispatched the team to Kavarode, they went and did the analysis and we found they did not have enough wage to recruit. John Muliroha, the Commissioner for Budget Ministry of Finance, has appealed to local governments to make sure that they join hands with the central government to achieve the budget objectives for next financial year. He also noted that there is an urgent need to fight corruption. Just in the day we agree that it is a business for all of us to get in and fight the crimes. Cannot it be the center around the local government around No. Because for every corrupt case, there are people who have information. Yeah? Either contributed or quite a so or facilitated. So if all these people can be combated. And repent and we agree to disclose the information. We can fight the corruption. How can people start fighting? They are working together and they are fighting. What are these conflicts about? Are they selfish conflicts? Again, it goes back to uh, management and administration. We all know what's happening with Baka user fees. This one of the major, this used to be one of the major sources of local issues in local governments. But over the years, it has been given because of the local provisions they are in. So we said that such provisions should be uh, amended. The national budget for financial year 2023-2024 was approved by Parliament on May 18, 2023. The budget was increased from 48.13 trillion to 52.7 trillion shillings for financial year 2023-2024, which represents an increase of 9.5% from the previous financial year. This is News at 8.